previously on Dark Matter. Who are you? We all woke up just like you. No idea who we are or how we got here. We're nothing but a bunch of low-life mercenaries. One of the dreams she experienced was of one of us sabotaging the stasis pods. What's inside? Secrets. How do you think the rest of the crew will react when they find out that you're an imposter? Who are you? What the hell are you doing with my face? This is ridiculous. We're the most wanted criminals in the galaxy. We can't even scrape together enough money to buy a decent meal. Oh, we could. If you hadn't lost those weapons. We were ambushed. It wasn't our fault. That's all you keep saying. All right, there's no point in arguing. There's nothing we can do about it now. Sure there is. We can do what we do best. We'll rob someone. <laughs> Anyone in particular? Yeah, I say Ferris Corp. We'll find their closest outpost and we just nail it hard. They're already pissed off at us, right? How much worse could it be? What do you think? I think it's a terrible <coughs> one. <coughs> ah, sorry, wrong pipe. You were saying? Sure. That's what we do, right? Yeah. What about the vault? What vault? Uh, well, I think that's what it is. It's down in the lower levels at the end of a maintenance shaft. I found it when I was exploring the vents. This is the door you saw in your dream, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if I were a pirate and a smuggler, and apparently I am, this is the kind of place I might just pick to hide my loot. Has anyone else been down here before? No, definitely not me. Alphanumeric lock code. Which none of us can remember. You ever dream about the code, kid? No. No, but it's still rattling around in your head, isn't it? What do you want to do, crack her skull open? Dig around with a spoon? Believe me if I thought that would help. Two, come in, please. Go ahead. I think you should all come to the bridge immediately. We're receiving a transmission. From who? From someone who says he knows you. Signal's weak this far from the nearest GCOM link. There may be some interference. Okay. I should warn you. He seems to be a man of little patience. And tact. Ah, Portia Lynn et al. Thanks for keeping me waiting. You're uh, Android. A little testy, by the way. Might want to get that checked out. I thought I was nothing but patient. Is there something we can do for you? <laughs> Is there something they can... <laughs> hear that? There was definitely something you could do for me. Your job, the one I set up for you with Ferris Corp, the one you completely messed up, is this ringing any bells? There were unforeseen circumstances. Hey, have you seen my inhaler? No, I haven't seen your inhaler. I'm on the phone. Look, this is interstellar. You have any idea how much this is costing me? Get out of here. I didn't think... Let me bottom line this for you, okay? Ferris Corp wants your heads. And without their backing, you've got no political protection, which, given your records, I think we can all agree is not a good thing. But it's okay. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to smooth things over. And in exchange, you're going to do a job for me. What kind of job? A oh, walk in the park, salvage job, nothing to it, which is why you're going to do it for half of your normal rate. No way. It's a freighter, ISS Far Horizon. Apparently, it suffered some kind of catastrophic system failure. The resulting explosion exposed most of the upper decks to space. None of the crew survived. Unfortunately, the data stream provided by your friend was a little short on information. I don't think he's our friend. Uh, he's a handler. 
He gets the jobs, we do the job. Like an agent. I don't know, a guy seems like a scumbag to me. What? I'm not allowed to have standards? The thing I don't get is why us? Why not hire some licensed salvage operation to do the job? If I had to guess, there's something illegal on that ship. Stolen goods, drugs, who knows? Something valuable. Can we trust him? Well, we have worked with him before. We need him. Let our memories, we have no other connections. We're completely on our own. Am I wrong? We're nine hours out from the freighter's last known location, so everyone get some sleep. Oh, hi. Um, I just came by to see if you wanted to, um... Uh, hey! If you wanted to go over the plans for the salvage. Oh, sure. Why don't we go up to the bridge and we'll go over it? Are you coming? Yeah. drive is intact. But navigation from the bridge is impossible. If we can establish a remote link in the engineering section, I might be able to upload a jump sequence from here. The ship will then fly itself to its original destination. You do know the guns are just a precaution, right? The ship's abandoned? It might be rats. I hate rats. Android, come in. I'm reading you. Go ahead. We're in. Life support's operational, but minimal. It's a little cold in here. The ship is operating on emergency power only, but I estimate at least six hours before life support shuts down completely. That should be more than enough time. Understood. We'll head to engineering now. Uh, I think we should look around a little first. We came here to do a job. You said it yourself. There might be some nice, tasty contraband kicking around here somewhere, huh? Which they want back. That's why they hired us. Half the ship's exposed to space. Who's gonna be surprised if there's a little contraband that goes missing? Am I right? Hmm? Yeah. Absolutely. You don't have to fuel costs. We're barely making a profit here. I think we should at least take a look. All right, fine. I'll head down to engineering and hook up the link. I should be 45 minutes, hour max. When I'm done, we're leaving. Yes, boss. How's it going? They've gained access to the ship. So far, so good. OK. Well, in the meantime, do you think I could drag you away for a sec? I highly doubt that. Despite your low center of gravity, you possess neither the strength nor the stamina to pull my body weight over any significant distance. No, I mean, could you help me with something? Of course. I, on the other hand, possess the strength and the stamina to convey you with great ease. No dragging required. Oh, whoa! No, I just need your help with something in the infirmary. No heavy lifting. Okay. Where did you find this? It was in the storage room where I found the dead boy. Did you find anything else? No. I thought it was just data storage, but I've tried everything. I can't read it. I'm not surprised. 
Because it's not data storage. Well, then what is it? Curious. The molecular structure is similar to that of a subatomic matrix card, but on a much smaller scale. What does that mean? If I had to guess, I would say this is part of some larger system designed to access pockets of extra dimensional space. Why would somebody want to do that? I ask myself that question all the time. Rarely do I get a satisfactory answer. Right. Thanks anyways. Do me a favor, don't tell any of the others about this, okay? I thought you had resolved to trust them. Well, some of them anyway. Yeah. So did I. What was that? I think the other side of this wall is exposed to space. Could be pressure or temperature difference causing the metal to warp. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Quit being such a wimp. Ah! Son of a... Little bastard. Huh? What'd I say? I hate rats. Guys, I'm in. I found a junction box with access to the FTL control. How's it going on your end? Stand by. I think we found something. What? Is that blood? It's fresh. What are, you, what are you talking about, Six? How can that be? Answer me. Whose blood? I think it was most likely theirs. Four dead bodies here. This whole section is still intact. How did they die? I don't think it was an accident. It was a violent attack. Not with conventional weapons. Whoever did this used their bare hands. And teeth. I, I'm sorry, did you say teeth? Correct. Okay, that's it. Fall back to my position. We'll finish hooking up this link and get the hell out of here. One in three, do you copy? One in three, are you reading this? We're getting a lot of interference over the radio. Could be residual radiation from the explosion. So? So I'm not a fan of radiation. We should head back. Nah, not yet. This ship has yet to give up its riches. We have to have this talk again. Remember that I am not the one who had his face surgically altered so that he could infiltrate our crew. It doesn't prove anything. No, maybe not. It sure does make you wonder, though, doesn't it? How long are you gonna hold this over me? I don't think that far ahead. Well, just remember, when you're blackmailing someone, you need to be really careful not to push them too far. I know. That's what I thought.
six, is that you? Take a look. That's a nasty gash. Android, come in. Go ahead. I've established the link. Can you access the ship's logs? I believe so. Then do it. We need to find out what the hell's going on here. I don't understand. Is something wrong? Yeah. You could say that. This is ridiculous. If there's any contraband on this ship, it's gonna be hidden, right? Behind the walls, under the floors, it's not gonna be in plain sight. Ah, trust me, I got a nose for this kind of thing. Yeah? How do you know? Well, you assume because you're not the real Jace Corso, that you're not a criminal, right? How do you know? Okay, fine. Well, while we're having this frank discussion, mm -hmm. what the hell happened between you and two? Well, I think that's pretty obvious, isn't it? You get her drunk? No, nah, but I totally would have. No, in fact, she came on to me. It wasn't subtle either. It's practically in order. You know, she doesn't like to be in charge. Wouldn't think you were a type. Let me guess. You thought you were. Got news for you, pretty boy. With a woman like that, that whole sensitive nice guy thing you got going on doesn't cut it. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. He was a crewman. At least he was before he turned into that. Well, it's possible he's the one who killed the others. By himself? Against four people? No weapons? Hey, you didn't have to fight him off. I believe it. Still, we can't assume he's the only one. Whatever happened to him may have happened to the other crew members. One and three, come in. Guys, please respond. There may be a potential threat on board the ship. Do you copy? Damn it. Raz at a boarding party, come in, please. Go ahead. It appears most of the freighter's command logs were destroyed in the explosion. However, I did manage to salvage a portion of the audio report by the first officer. At first, we believed it to be a series of random attacks. Violent behavior, signs of possible contagion. Has no idea where. Now certain it is not an airborne pathogen, but more likely and blood. Uh, can you enhance that last part anymore? Give me a moment. Stand by. But more likely transmitted by fluids such as saliva and blood. We just need more information. Android, I want you to sift through every scrap of data you can salvage from this ship. See if the infirmary survived the explosion and then tap into those logs. Scanning now. In the meantime, we've got to get two back to the ship. She needs medical attention. Understood. Look, we can't do that. You heard the recording. It's contagion. She's been bitten. We don't know anything for sure. No, no, he's right. If I go back there, the same thing that happened here could happen on the Raza. We don't know what happened here. All we have is fragments of a partial report. She said it was a possible contagion that might have been transferred by contact. She said it was likely. Whatever. Even if you are infected, maybe there's something we can do about it. Maybe there's a treatment if we can catch it soon enough. That is a lot of maybes. What's the alternative? We just leave her here? Life support's gonna fail in less than six hours. 
Yeah, well, it's a merciful land compared to that one. We're not leaving anyone behind. No, that's not up to you. May I offer a suggestion? Go ahead. The ship's infirmary is equipped with an isolation chamber. It would be more than adequate for quarantine purposes. Once you're inside, we can scan for the presence of any known viruses in our medical database. Short of simply waiting for symptoms to appear, it's the only way to know for sure. What about one and three? I'll come back and get them. I'm not taking no for an answer. All right, let's go. All right, we're en route. I'll prep the isolation chamber. And we've been having trouble with radio communications on the freighter. Must be some kind of interference. See if you can figure out what's causing it. Understood. There may not be interference. It's possible they're not responding because they're also attacked and are either dead or incapacitated. Well, that's what I like about you. Always looking on the bright side. I'm realistic. Those two can handle themselves. Be more worried about them attacking each other. Good point. Good point. talking about we've been here before <laughs> we're going in circles don't be ridiculous i have a very keen sense of direction don't ask me how i know that this is great we're out of radio contact and we're lost fine you're an idiot you're an arrogant son of a bitch you know that excuse me yeah, you play all humble, but deep down you think you're better than the rest of us. You think we're scumbags and somehow you're different. Well, maybe not all of you. You're always going on about the team and how we got to help each other out. Well, I am here trying to put food on our table. What are you doing exactly? Hmm? All right. Look, I admit I haven't been exactly... Shut up. Well, you're not even going to let me talk? I'm trying to tell you. I hear something. she was munching on? Huh? Look, this ship is already full of holes. Let's not make any more if we can help it. Are you all right? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Now what? Beginning the scan. There are several thousand viruses and bacteriological agents in the database. This may take some time. And what if this isn't in the database? If it starts to turn, I'll take care of it. The crew of this ship is supposed to be dead. They're definitely not supposed to be diseased cannibal monsters. I ought to remember that. I should have trusted that scumbag. Great. Another dead end. What happened to your amazing sense of direction? You could concentrate with all your whining. Looks like we'll have to go back. Back? Where they came from? I don't think so. I've seen five do this. How hard can it be? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How, how do we know that on the other side of this door it's not exposed to space? Metal's not cold. There's got to be life support on the other side. Better hurry up with that. The little girl could do that. What's your problem? Not helping. Let's go. Oh, crap. Ah. 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 
I found the source of the interference. As we suspected, it's residual radiation from the explosion that destroyed the upper decks. One in three must be somewhere in the affected area. The levels are non-toxic, but it's greatly reducing the range of their comms. All right, I'll take a slow pass over that section, see if I can raise it. Android, this is four. I'm in the infirmary. You better get down here. No, I'm not going anywhere. Not until we come up with a plan. No, we gotta get back to the airlock. The airlock's on the other side of that breach. Genius. Well, we'll find another one. And how do you want to let the others know where to come pick us up? Or do you just want to open the door and jump over to the Raza? Fine. What's your brilliant plan? I don't know yet. I need a second. And you're welcome, by the way. What? What, for that? Really? Fine. Thank you. This makes us even. Well, let's not go crazy, huh? It doesn't matter. I don't care anymore. If we make it back, you can tell them whatever you want. You want to take your chance with the others. Be my guest. I mean, five, she's a couple short of a deck, and no one really cares what she thinks anyway. Six? I don't really know what I think about him. But four, you watch out for that guy. He'll slit your throat in your sleep. Two would understand. Would she? You sure about that? I was afraid of this. What is it? Using the navigational input recorded by the freighter's FTL computer, I was able to extrapolate their last port of call. The Far Horizon went somewhere it was not authorized to go. Where? A planet called Torian Alpha. It was the site of a pharmaceutical research facility, but now it's under galactic quarantine. I'm guessing something went wrong with the research? The trees on Torian Alpha live for tens of thousands of years. It was thought that their chemical structure could be used to synthesize a drug that would effectively make human beings immortal. Instead, they created one of the most deadly viruses humankind has ever seen. But why would the ship go there? Somebody spent billions on that research. It was run by a division of Traugott Corporation. Yeah, they're not just gonna let that go. Sure, officially they abide by the quarantine. Unofficially, they send someone in to smuggle out whatever they can, then continue their research again somewhere else. Oh, they didn't get very far. How long do I have? Typically, symptoms appear within three hours of exposure. And I assume there's no cure? I'll continue to search the database. Hey. Hey! What's going on? I think we both passed out. The air's getting thin in here. Yeah, it's getting hard to breathe. We lost a lot of pressure during the breach. We'll have to slow our breathing. Yeah. Maybe talk a little less. One, three, this is six. Come in. One, three, this is six. Six, we're reading you. Where are you? I'm just outside the ship of the Marauder. I can't be far from your position. What's your situation? 
It's kind of a long story. Yeah, does it involve flesh eating crewmen? So you know about that? It's some kind of infection. Looks like two's been exposed. Your signal's getting stronger. I'll zero in on it. Let's see if I can find your next point. Hold on. Are you sure you want to wait until it begins? I can give you an honorable death before it comes to that. Are you serious? I'd rather have a dishonorable life. And you did, by all accounts. I don't feel any different. I don't feel anything. I think there's been a mistake. The scan confirmed the presence of the virus. There is no mistake. Look, if it was me, I'd want to go while I still had my wits about me and in control. Not yet. All right, guys, I should be right outside your position. I can see a small hull breach. Yeah, that was us. We had a little accident. We sealed it off, though. All right, I can see another airlock. Looks like it's intact. It's two levels down and about 100 meters aft. You think you can find it? Do we have a choice? We may have to move deeper in the ship to find a way down. We may lose radio contact, but I'll dock and I'll wait for you. Understood. We're on our way. Marauder, this is the Raza. Go ahead. Did you find them? Yeah, they were right where you said they'd be. Then we have a problem. What? My readings indicate that life support in that section is failing. Oxygen levels are critical. If you don't get them out in the next 10 minutes, they'll suffocate. One, three, come in. Guys, come in, we've got a problem. The freighter has emergency life support, including O2 tanks, located in various parts of the ship. But so far, I've been unable to link up to that system. I will keep trying. I'm heading to the airlock now. Understood. I don't want you to die. I don't want to die either. What about one and three? I'm sure they'll be fine. I don't think any of us are going to be fine, even if we get through this. Look, about what happened on the space station, I'm sorry you had to see that. I didn't mean to kill those men. It was just instinct. I was going to say reflex. God, I wasn't ready. I wasn't in control. Next time, it'll be different. You really think there's going to be a next time? Maybe not for me. I thought I could make things different, you know, take a different path. Now it looks like I might not get the chance. But do me a favor. Don't give up on the others. See another way down? No. Oh. Slight problem. What? Uh. Oh boy. How many? Uh. Seven or eight? They don't look like they're doing too good. No lack of air must be affecting them more than us. Well. That's good. Easier for me to pick off. No! No more bullets. Let's remember what happened last time. I said, what's your great idea? I said we go down there and walk right past them. For real? Yeah. If one of them gives you any trouble, just give them a swift kick. <laughs> Look, they're dying even faster than we are. Let's take advantage of that while we still can. God, you better be right. This better work.
Marauder, this is the Raza. I did it. I managed to tap into the freighter's emergency life support. Restoring O2 levels now. Thank God. What's that noise? Fresh air. Get back out here! Come down now. So much for no bullets. There's only a few. You're welcome. Let's get going. Got him, we're heading back. He's clean as well, no sign of the virus. <sighs> Told you. Didn't even get a scratch. Now let's go finish this job. Hold on. How much time? I should start showing symptoms any minute now. I'm sorry. If there was anything I could have done. I know. While you're still you, there's one more thing we need to discuss. What? This is a big mistake. Do it. You didn't really think we were gonna let that thing fly itself back to civilization, did you? Well, I guess there's no way we're getting paid now, huh? Too bad. I'm just surprised because I thought that we had an arrangement. Do you have something you'd like to say? I think I'll save it for later. How long has it been? Over five hours. Shouldn't she have started to show symptoms by now? Normally, yes. I say we scan her again. We already did that. And look at her. Nothing's happening. She's not changing. What do we have to lose? It's gone. I knew I wasn't changing. Let me out of here. I'm done. She's right. Let her out. Are you sure that's wise? You saw the results. No virus detected. How's that possible? According to the Far Horizons medical logs, no one has ever had a successful immune response to the virus before. Exactly. But that doesn't change the fact that the virus is no longer present. There is no threat. Guys, I can't explain it any better than you can, but what are we gonna do? Keep her in there forever? I don't suppose there's any chance we could just pretend like this never happened. Didn't think so.
Hey. Hey. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, it's fine. What's up? Look, I, I wanted to say that I'm sorry about losing the freighter. But one was right. It was just too dangerous. That's fine. Just would have been nice to have a little cash in our pockets for once. Maybe we get up to something fun. <laughs> you know, there are other ways to have fun that don't cost anything. I am, uh, I'm a little tired, you know, it's been a crazy day. Right. Next time. <laughs>